So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 3 of our F1 Manager Team Lotus Save. Now if you didn't watch the last episode, go back and watch it in Jeddah because a lot happened in that race. But sadly, we had a shocker. Liam Lawson was a DNF. Enzo Fittipaldi may have well have been finishing 83 seconds behind the winner, Charles Leclerc. Carlos Sainz came in second and Oscar Piastri came in P3. What does that do for the standings? If we just switch across, we can see constructor standings wise, Ferrari are top on 83 points. McLaren a second and Red Bull are third. Driver standings wise, Carlos Sainz is leading from Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen is down in P3. It must be said, Ferrari have looked very very strong so far and it must be said Lotus really really haven't what's happening behind the scenes I hear you asked to improve this situation well it must be said at the moment if we just have a look at the staff the morale is pretty poor both on the staff and the drivers mainly because of the negative race results we're getting Liam Lawson obviously having a few crashes in that last race has cost us quite a bit of money in terms of parts but we are bringing a big upgrade package to the next Grand Prix not the one on this episode but the next Grand Prix in Suzuka we are bringing a big underfloor upgrade which hopefully should start to help us and then the front wing hopefully shouldn't be too far behind that either so when we get to Japan it'll be the first real upgrades on the Team Lotus car this weekend we head to Melbourne in Australia the Albert Park circuit we've got 58 laps around here I uh, expect the strategy is a one-stop you can try a two-stop if you're feeling a bit ambitious but mainly it's a one-stop from medium on to hard nothing else really to tell you at the moment we are continuing to develop I'm hoping we can keep it on the track this week so I'll get through practice and see you in qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix Final flying lap, laps then in Q2. And it must be said, we made it through Q1 quite comfortably. But here is Liam Lawson. He's green through the first and second sectors. What can Liam Lawson do as he comes up to the line? Is it going to be enough to get him into Q3? It's only good enough for the moment for P9. That's not bad. Fittipaldi on the other hand. He's green through the first and second sectors as well. What can he possibly do? Can he get himself into the top 10? Enzo Fittipaldi crosses the line. And it's only good enough for P14 and as we fast forward on Liam Lawson is in danger but possibly could get into Q3 and does Fittipaldi's out but Lawson's into Q3 final lap then in Q3 and it's got to be said Liam Lawson has given a good show of himself so far but as he comes up to the line he's getting a little bit of a toe as well from the Ferrari what can Liam Lawson do could he possibly improve on P10 at the moment he could he goes ahead of Hamilton how long that's going to stay, we will have a look. I'd expect Hamilton to improve, although he doesn't. And Liam Lawson has out-qualified the seven-time world champion, Lewis Hamilton. It will be Max Verstappen on pole position. Sergio Perez completes a Red Bull front row lockout. But Liam Lawson will be very happy with that. Let's get to the strategy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so P9 and P14, let's have a look at the strategy. Now, we are going to put Liam Lawson on a one-stop. Although the two-stop stop looks slightly quicker, I fancy Liam Lawson to be able to look after the tyres and then go to the end on the hard compound. So Liam Lawson is starting on a one-stop strategy. Fittipaldi has got two fresh sets of soft compound tyres, lending itself to a two-stop strategy, a soft, medium, soft. I think will be the way to go for Fittipaldi. We might actually just change it up and go medium in the middle. But at this moment in time, that's the plan. P9, P14, let's get to five red lights. The anticipation is really building here. The fans in attendance are absolutely buzzing with excitement. You and I won't be the only ones keeping an eye on Oscar Piastri, Karu. They're fourth on the grid, so I'd expect to see them mount a challenge for the top three in this race. But there's no more time left. We've got a race on our hands. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out! And away we go. And away we go. And straight away, Liam Lawson looked like he got a decent start there in P9. As we can see with the uh, the overhead camera, he's getting a nice run on Lance Stroll. And at the moment, it looks like he could possibly be up towards P8. But then again, Hamilton, uh, sorry, Russell in front of him really blocks him off there. And still Lawson, he maintains P9. It's not bad for him. What about Enzo Fittipaldi? He's got two cars in front of him. But at this moment, just choosing to sit in. We've got somebody running wide. And that was, I believe, Magnussen 
running wide. Disappointing for him, but that promotes Enzo Fittipaldi up into P13 now. Decent start for the Team Lotus guy, who was also a decent start for Max Verstappen and Checo Perez because they got a decent start indeed. The two Ferraris are following him behind, but positive starts from both Lotus cars. Early dropping of a position from Liam Lawson. We're riding on board from Fernando Alonso's point of view on the cockpit cam. And as you can see, just dropped out that DRS of George Russell and Fernando Alonso decided to take that place from him. Now, hopefully, hopefully, he can tag onto the back of Fernando Alonso. Alonso was happy with that one. I was less happy with it, it must be said. But now Liam Lawson is looking to chase after Fernando Alonso. We are just going to drop him down a little bit on the uh, DRS as well. But here we go. Let's have a look. From Logan Sargent's point of view, will he possibly be able to get a move done here? He tries to launch one down the inside of Alonso. It's ambitious. And the two, uh, two drivers are going side by side. But Alonso just about manages to pull in front of him. But decent racing from Liam Lawson at this moment in time. He'll get a double helping now of DRS off the back of Fernando Alonso. But we're quite happy. Happy where we are at the moment with Liam Lawson. Fittipaldi, he's been aggressive in this race. And at this moment in time, he's chasing after the back of Yuki Tsunoda in the RB. And could he possibly make a move here? The Red Bull has not got DRS, the Visa Cash App RB. Could we possibly make a move down here? Because here goes Fittipaldi on the soft compound tyre, looking to make a move around the outside. Is he going to make it? He isn't. And Sonoda will cover him off, but in front, it's worrying signs for Liam Lawson, who looks like he's dropped down to P11, because now he has uh, dropped a position to Lewis Hamilton. He out-qualified Lewis Hamilton. We'll have a look at this replay now on lap three. Already so much happening, and here is Lewis Hamilton down the inside. It looks like Lawson. We're actually looking for a move on Alonso, and Lewis Hamilton using all his experience in that Mercedes. He shoves Lawson a little bit wide, and Hamilton is up. In to P10. Lawson now in P11. Liam, Liam Lawson. Let's have a look at what happens here. He's got the DRS wide open. And then we don't really get a good replay of it. But he runs wide and loses four positions. Liam Lawson, the man that we brought in to spearhead this team. The young driver who showed so much promise when he jumped into that Alpha Tower seat back in the day. He's not delivering for Team Lotus at the moment. Fittipaldi, on the other hand, is looking pretty handy at the moment in P12 and pretty racy as well. We can see the Mercedes in front, but Fittipaldi's on an aggressive two-stop strategy. And talk about aggressive. What a move. Round the outside of Fernando Alonso, that was. That was an unbelievable move from Enzo Fittipaldi. Please, please let us get another replay of that because that was absolutely outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look at this. He goes round the outside beautifully in that Lotus. And Fernando Alonso has no answer. And now he's got Sonoda in front of him. Get a couple of decent help into DRS. We might be on the back of Hamilton pretty soon. Mega says the race engineer. Mega, we agree. The confidence is radiating through Fittipaldi at the moment because he got the DRS and then decided to make the move into turn one. Beautifully done. And then the race engineer, he says mega Fittipaldi. The race engineer said there is a Mercedes ahead. And that is what we are now chasing after. Fittipaldi is actually now within the DRS range of Lewis Hamilton. If anyone looks like he's going to score points for a Team Lotus today, it looks like Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi is looking in exceptional form today because here he is again. Fittipaldi down the inside of Hamilton. He doesn't care about reputation, this man. All he cares about is making overtakes in the team that his grandfather debuted in all those years back. But fantastic work from Fittipaldi. He's now actually just dropped out of the DRS of Hamilton, which we're just going to have to get him back in. Uh, but at the moment, P10 looking pretty good for him. Hamilton in P9. Verstappen and Perez are in P1 and P2. And Fittipaldi just starting to go backwards a little bit here. Daniel Ricciardo making his way through the field. Has managed to get the overtake done on him. Down into turn one. He was looking imperious at one point. And then maybe his confidence has just been damaged a little bit by that overtake from Hamilton. And now Ricciardo is up into P10. And Fittipaldi is in P11. But now once again has got DRS just about on the Aussie driver. And it looks like Ricardo's really putting his foot down here as we're struggling to keep hold of battery. Meanwhile, Lawson, P15, no man's land at the moment. Lap 11, we're gonna have a full rundown in a minute, but as you can see, we can see Fittipaldi and Lawson, uh, sorry, Fittipaldi and Alonso, and Alonso just keeps it around the outside. It's great racing from Fernando Alonso. And as we go into the final corner, Fernando Alonso 
manages to get Fittipaldi. there. He's very happy with that. It must be said, we're, we're pretty all right with what's happening with Fittipaldi at the minute. But Alonso's just managed to get away. And it looks like at this moment now, Fittipaldi is the quicker driver than Ricardo, And he just starts needing to get a couple of moves done here. And is this going to be one of them as he tries to go down the inside? Really, he wants to wait until he can get DRS on the start finish straight. He's trying, and he must admit, he really is trying. But we are going to stick with it because we know that this could be a big opportunity for Lawson. So let's have a little look as we join him on the cockpit cam and we can see him gaining, gaining, gaining on Daniel Ricciardo. He needs to get this move done now. Ricciardo moves to the inside and then Fittipaldi darts to the outside. Will he manage to get the move done here? He will through turn one and then he will get an added helping of DRS. There is a yellow flag on circuit. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. We are waiting to see what that was. It was Nico Hulkenberg running ride, uh, running wide sorry in turn two it actually went on behind uh Fittipaldi it wasn't too much to talk about to be fair from Hulkenberg but Fittipaldi once again now can start to step on the gas because his tyres are in much better nick than Daniel Ricciardo and he could possibly pull away here Lawson still in P15 and it must be said like I say, in a race of his own, not really near anyone here. He's going to need a well-timed safety car to get anything from this Grand Prix. We'll have a full rundown of the top 10. It's Verstappen from Perez, Norris and Piastri in P3 and 4, 5 and 6 for the two Ferrari guys. Stroll in P7, Russell P8, then comes Hamilton, Alonso, Fittipalde, P11. And I don't know if this, just, this is just you, if it's inexperienced, but we can see Ricardo sort of holds him up. And then he sort of gets boxed in by the RB. He gets pushed to the side a little bit. Has to run wide over the sausage curb. And then he loses a lot of time to the RB cars. And that's so, so disappointing for Fittipaldi. He's now 1.6 seconds. I don't know why we lose uh, sound every time we have a replay. But uh, Fittipaldi in P13 now has got some catching up to do again. And he's going to be told to attack, attack, attack. We're now starting to see a lot of pit stops. Lewis Hamilton is the latest one into the box, and it's a decent pit stop from the Mercedes. Checo Perez is in as well, so there's been a lot happening. Meanwhile, Fittipaldi in P13 now behind Nico Hulkenberg, now P12. Couple of cars are pit in front of him, but he just needs to now sit in, and he's going to be coming in in a couple of laps' time. We're still hopeful we can get some points from this race. Liam Lawson now promoted to P13. Long way to go for Liam Lawson today. In to the pits comes Fittipaldi. Now, it must be said we've gone long on that first stint, but we're hoping that is going to benefit us towards the end of the Grand Prix. Liam Lawson still chugging on in that Lotus on the medium compound attire. Now, let's hope that we get a decent stop here from the Team Lotus guys, because really, we could do with some decent stops today. New fastest lap of the Grand Prix from Hamilton, and it's not looking good for Fittipaldi, is it? Because this is properly a bad pit stop. And it's an 8.8 .8 second pit stop. That, ladies and gents, has just killed Fittipaldi from this race. That is an incredibly bad pit stop. And I don't really know what to say more than that. Fittipaldi's got a lot of work on his hands now. I think it's got to be said, to get anything out of this Grand Prix, we need a safety car. Liam Lawson's still chugging along nice, still doing okay. Verstappen's just coming in. I'd suggest Verstappen might be on a one-stop. But Liam Lawson at the moment, he's in the box in around three or four laps time. It's nice to know it's not just us that's suffering. Zhou Guan Yu is having a shocking Grand Prix as well. And here he is locking up into turn three. Not good at all from the Chinese driver. A driver we were actually looking at, it must be said. Uh, but Zhou Guan Yu all the way down in P22 at the moment. Lawson is our best challenger at the moment, but he's got a pit stop to make. Could he possibly get some points today, Liam Lawson, after that early problem that he had? Fittipaldi in P16 now. It's going to take a miracle for him to get any points today. Uh, but lap 22, Verstappen's just made his first stop. Verstappen is looking very, very good for a win today. And I would suggest he's not on a one-stop. He's on a two-stop as well. And into the pits comes Liam Lawson on lap 24. He's done basically um, less than 25 laps on the uh, medium compound attire. Now, let's hope we get a better pit stop here. Fittipaldi's doing everything he can at the moment to sort of catch up a little bit. Are we going to get a better stop for Lawson? I would suggest we are. 2.8 seconds. We'll take that. 
we will take that for Liam Lawson. Now, hopefully, we get a little bit of luck. Now, where are we going to come out? Fittipaldi's a little bit in front. We're going to come out behind the Williams of Albon. But that is our pit stop strategy complete now with Liam Lawson. So he can bring these all compound tyres in, settle into this very long, long stint. Fittipaldi still working very, very hard. P14 at the minute, but 10 seconds behind Ricardo. It must be said, Liam Lawson and Pierre Gasly are having right a ding-dong battle. Um, if you watch last series, the last series and last year's game, you'll know that Pierre Gasly is a particular favourite driver of mine. But Liam Lawson at the minute, giving as good as he's got against the Alpines. It must be said, we're not the worst car on track. We just seem a little bit naive at times. And of course, we've got two inexperienced drivers, but Lawson now is settling in for the rest of this stint. Um, and Fittipaldi's managed to save a little bit of battery and he's just pushing on. What we might do with Fittipaldi is try and run him a little bit longer and really go for it on the softs at the end. That's a plan that we are concocting. But we can have a little rundown again. We can see Gasly and Lawson are just overtaking each other. But this is probably not helping either of them, it must be said, um, as they share in DRS. But Pierre Gasly, down the start, finish straight into turn one, manages to get the job done. My word, do we need an upgrade package in that next Grand Prix. We'll have a rundown. It's Verstappen, who is leading at this moment in time. Fastest lap of the Grand Prix. 3.8 seconds clear of Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc in P3, Perez in P4, then comes Russell Piastri, Sainz, um, as they've just swapped positions, Sainz and Piastri, Alonso in P8, Stroll P9, Hamilton in P10. At the moment, this could be one that got away. There could have been a championship point on the table here. We've got a spin, but it's for Yuki Sonoda, not a Team Lotus driver. Calm yourselves down. I know that's what you're thinking, but Sonoda goes spinning off. Could have possibly given us a safety car, but it didn't. And now Sonoda's managed to get himself back on circuit. That just shows you the gaps. Ricardo is 16 seconds behind his teammate. That's incredible. Gasly finally pits, which stops him fighting with Liam Lawson for a little bit. Liam Lawson's just been lapped. But hopefully we'll get a little bit of DRS off the Ferrari here, which he does, which is helpful for him. If he could tag onto the back of the Ferrari, that would be absolutely ideal. What he doesn't want to be doing is re-overtaking the Ferrari. My goodness, Liam Lawson. And then he's going to have to break again. This is losing him a lot, a lot of time here. And he needs to realise that he's not fighting this Ferrari. And just keeping in the DRS would be absolutely lovely. In fact, what we're going to tell him is, I tell you what... Don't try and overtake the Ferrari. Just sit behind him, mate, because that will do you the more. That'll do you more good than anything else. So that's fine. Fittipaldi, 11 seconds to Hulkenberg, lap 30, uh, 35. We need a safety car. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam Lawson is playing a blinder here because now he's decided to sit behind this Ferrari. What he's actually managed to do is, if we have a look at the last lap, Liam Lawson was a 123-0. Whereas Hulkenberg, Bottas and Fittipaldi were 124.4s. Liam Lawson is managing to tag on the back of this Ferrari, get DRS, and it's dragging him along beautifully. This is working an absolute charm for Liam Lawson. And we're actually going to say to him now, if you can be aggressive and follow the car through, which he has done, this is working perfectly. Liam Lawson is getting pulled back into contention by Carlos Sainz. Uh, not by Carlos Sainz, that's Charles Leclerc. He's Charles Leclerc. He's getting pulled into contention by Charles Leclerc. You absolutely love to see it. Is he going to get DRS again? Let's just have a look. He might be a little bit far back this time now, Liam Lawson. Let's have a little look. Does that rear wing open? It certainly does. Liam Lawson is playing a blinder. And let's have a look at that latest lap from Liam Lawson. A 123.5, a 124.9. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Leclerc might score points for Lotus today. Pit stop issue for Daniel Ricciardo. Now, this is getting really interesting because he's gone onto the soft compound attire. Um, it looks like it's the front left that they're really struggling to get on. Um, I mean, that's making our pit stop look rather quick. Okay. Um, this is really, really bad. <laughs> I feel quite sorry for Daniel Ricciardo there. But why don't I feel quite sorry for Daniel Ricciardo is because you know the Charles Leclerc tactic. Well, the Charles Leclerc tactic is working beautifully because, as you can see, Liam Lawson... He's still hanging on the back of this Ferrari. And this is the moment the race leader, Liam Lawson, has been lapping at the same pace as the leaders for the last 10 laps now. And it's absolutely pulled him that far back into contention. It's incredible. He's only five seconds now behind his teammate. And this is meaning that Liam Lawson could actually 
conceivably finishing the points today because he saved his Sire's Beauty play. He's saving on fuel. He's not used his battery. And he's just tucked up behind the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc doing enough. Is he going to get DRS down here? I'm hoping he will do. It's looking like he might have just dropped out of DRS at the moment. Let's just get him a little bit to deploy now. But Liam Lawson, my word, this has pulled him right back into the game. It's been clever driving from Liam Lawson. It looks like Leclerc Mainz have finally just got away from him. But that has been one hell of a stint, that, from him. And Fittipaldi is in in the next couple of laps. Badly for Liam Lawson. He's just got overtaken by Daniel Ricciardo. And this is a little bit frustrating because those two behind him both got DRS. And Daniel Ricciardo managed to get past. To be fair, I'm still not too upset with what Liam Lawson's managed to do today. Uh, fair play to Daniel Ricciardo. Fittipaldi is coming in this lap. We'll come back when he's in the box. And into the pits comes Fittipaldi. Now, let's hope we get a decent pit stop. And Liam Lawson's going backwards rather than forwards now. Despite all that stint with Charles Leclerc helping us along. We're getting overtaken now by a couple of cars. The next one is Nico Hulkenberg, and fair play to him, Nico Hulkenberg. It's a good move down the inside. We can't really do anything about it. Uh, but Liam Lawson, like I said, Fittipaldi, let's hope we get a decent stop now. Russell's got damage. We are going to need a safety car if we're going to get some points today, but I think we've got some positives to take from this Grand Prix at the moment um, as Fittipaldi gets a 2.7 pit stop and Norris sets a 1.18.7. My word, that's quick. Um, now, where or where is Fittipaldi going to filter out? He's going to filter out in P15. Um, he's going to be caught a little bit behind his teammate, but he's on fresh soft compound tyres. Let's see now what Fittipaldi can do. Esteban Ocon having a lock-up. Let's have a little look at this. Down in P20 at the minute, Ocon. Let's see what he does here. Just locks up. He's behind his teammate. He can't be enjoying himself. Again, no safety car. A safety car would have played into our hands, but Ocon finally does rejoin the circuit. Disappointing from him. It's P14 and P15 at this moment in time. I quite like to keep it that way. Lawson has got a fight on his hand to hold off Valtteri Bottas. Uh, but Liam Lawson doing okay at the moment. Fittipaldi's burnt his battery, but he's now trying to chase after Daniel Ricciardo. I don't think he's going to close that gap on Daniel Ricciardo. Unfortunately, we are just going to harvest a little bit of battery at this moment in time. I was hoping he were going to get a little bit of DRS, but it's actually Verstappen that's got it. Lawson is going to have a real fight with these three behind him, and it's not looking promising. And the first one of a couple has started to get past him. And Alexander Albon is the man who's done it. Let's have a little look at this. He got the DRS and moved to the inside. And nothing really he could do. He's on the fresher, faster tyres. Lawson now. It's going to be a real, real struggle to the end of this Grand Prix. Um, and Albon's happy with that. But it must be said Liam Lawson isn't at the moment. Fittipaldi is a little bit more happy at this moment in time. He keeps getting the front runner's DRS rather than him getting it himself. But he's pushing on on the soft compound tyre. Lawson now getting DRS. Hopefully that will help shield him from the drivers behind. But with 10 laps to go, Verstappen leads from Norris. Leclerc in P3 and Perez in P4. Look at the gaps, by the way. 10.4 seconds the gap from Verstappen to Norris. If Verstappen loses this... There's something seriously wrong. Piastri in P5, Stroll in P6. Then comes Russell, Sainz, Alonso, and Hamilton makes up the final points paying position. P14 and P16 for Lotus at the moment. And it's kind of going from bad to worse because we can see now the kick sauber of Valtteri Bottas getting past Liam Lawson. It's been a strange old race for Liam Lawson. He qualified well. We put a new power unit in. Then we sort of had a little bit of luck with a Ferrari, Charles Leclerc. I mean, that's overtaking off the track, I would suggest. Um, but yeah, it's been a weird old race for Liam Lawson, who's now going to tag up, tag onto the back of Valtteri Bottas. Fittipaldi has got to be feeling a little bit more confident with his race at the minute. I think without that pit stop, he'd have been in the shout for P13. So at the moment, I'm not too upset with that. We just need to be aware that Lawson also needs to just save a little bit of fuel um, on Valtteri Bottas. But hopefully he can tag onto the back and keep getting DRS as well. That would be ideal. Um, but Lawson at the minute doing just enough to tag onto the back of the kicks Alba. Big moment for Lewis Hamilton. Let's have a little look. There's no pressure on Lewis Hamilton, remember, here. And he goes spinning into the side. Unfortunately, he doesn't go into the barriers. And unfortunately, he doesn't cause a safety car. But Lewis Hamilton there spinning out does cost him a position. Could still probably recover it, to be fair to him. He's only 3.5 seconds behind at Yuki Tsunoda. Lawson now has lost touch with Valtteri Bottas. Uh, Fittipaldi's got P14 wrapped up. Final lap of the Grand Prix then, and we are watching your man, Max Verstappen, who's going to come round the final couple of corners and win, but we are just going to switch to this battle between Leclerc and Norris because this is the battle 
for P2 and Charles Leclerc, who we must be said has helped us out probably more than our drivers have done today, um, looks at the moment as though he's just about going to hang on to P2 as they come around the final couple of corners. What will happen here? Will Charles Leclerc manage to maintain P2? Will Lando Norris, with that burst of DRS, manage to get it to the line? He won't. Leclerc comes home in P2. Norris in P3, and everybody else is just finishing. We're just going to keep an eye now on Fittipaldi in this Lotus because what can we say about Fittipaldi he's in P14 he's managed his tyre as well you take 8 seconds off you, you maybe 6 seconds off this race on that bad pit stop you're looking he would have been in the fight for P13 today would Fittipaldi didn't quite get the look when he was being lapped even with the DRS which Lawson certainly did uh, so I think overall we can say that Fittipaldi has kept it clean He's done okay today, and really, he's kept the car on track and looked a decentish driver. So, fair play to uh, Enzo Fittipaldi. We'll take the positives from that from him um, as he crosses the line for P14. And Liam Lawson, uh, we're just going to watch him cross the line as well because, to be fair to him, he qualified exceptionally well, made the mistake early doors, that cost him, and then really, he's never managed to recover. And he, to be fair, he's nursed the tyres okay towards the end. But Liam Lawson crosses the line, P17. Let's get to the podium. As always, there will be lots to talk about after that race, including the performance from the driver currently on our screens. A 14th place finish today, no points and lots to think about. And no doubt, Verstappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievements. Fair play to Max Verstappen. He absolutely dominated today in Australia. Lando Norris and Leclerc, we saw fighting all the way to the end, but it was Max Verstappen who wins with the 25 points. Charles Leclerc second with the fastest lap. Norris in P3, then came Perez, Piastri, Sainz, Russell, Stroll, Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. Despite that spin, did manage to get back at Yuki Tsunoda. Um, it must be said it was disappointment for Leo Lawson, who dropped eight positions on the day. Fittipalde in P14, and right at the back was Zhou Guan Yu, who had a very, very torrid um, Australian Grand Prix. Driver standings-wise, Leclerc takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship on 59 points. for Verstappen now on 55. Then comes Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. Uh, Oscar Piastri as well. It's looking a decent fight so far at the front. Uh, at the back, there's a few cars yet to score a point, two of which are Lotus cars, unfortunately. A constructor standings wise, Ferrari are leading on 110, Red Bull on 84, then comes a McLaren on 73. RB have scored two points, but Haas, Williams, Lotus, Sauber, and Alpine remain pointless. I hope you've enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. Please do like and subscribe. We are going to get on the right track. We've got an upgrade package coming for Japan, and I hope to see you on that. See you later. Ta-ra.